Okay, yesterday I, I did that tribute video, or yeah, I told you guys that Brian Christopher Law, Lawler, the son of Jerry the King Lawler, Lawler, you might know as Grandmaster Sex Aid, killed himself, he passed away, and I found out Nikolai Bokov died to, uh, I think he just died of natural causes, I, I'm not sure, I just saw that opening on Monday Night Raw last night, so rest in peace Nikolai Bokov, you probably you might remember him for being that. That guy Russian, you know, always doing his natural out from all beyond. You no, know, I can't do it. I remember at WrestleMania 3 was the Iron Sheik and Nikolai Volkov of Slick and Hacksaw Jim Duggan came out. He said, Ho! with his 2 by 4 said, you're not going to see this in the greatest country ever, America. In the first WrestleMania, when Nikolai Volkov and the Iron Sheik won the tag team titles with their manager, Classy Freddie Blassie against Mike Rotunda. Barry Windham and with Captain Du Albon Albano in their corner. So yeah, Nikolai Volkov. Remember him also in WrestleMania Six. So he had that. I think it's even cool up. I can't remember the other Russian guy against the Hart Foundation in Canada. The you know WrestleMania Six and Bret Hart easily won that match. Remember they had try to get Steve Allen to seen their natural ounce ounce. I mean he you know he just did that to piss them off. That was so hilarious. I don't know his real name, Nikolai Volkov. Oh, yeah, I remember him being in Cindy Lauper's The Goonies Are Good Enough video. You know the movie The Goonies? He did that music video with Cat Flora Battle, Cat Classic Freddy Blassie, the bad guys, right around his pipe at the time of the WWE in 1985. But rest in peace, Nikolai Volkov. I mean, he was, you know, he was a big guy, but yeah, I thought I'm going to say rest in peace, Nikolai Volkov. Oh, the yard, the man. Sorry, I can't do the Russian national anthem, but rest in peace, Nikolai Volkov.